Uh, so what a beautiful day it is. God bless you. Thanks for mm-hmm. watching us and joining join us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Google Plus. Praise God. Mm-hmm. What a blessed beauty. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God richly bless you indeed. Mm-hmm. Amen. Let's take this down. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Wherever you are in the world, mm-hmm. God is there with you. Wherever yes, you are, is. God is there with you. Mm-hmm. God cares for you. God loves you. God God has a heart for you. Mm. You are God's heart. You are God's mind. Mm. What a beautiful. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. God bless you indeed. I love Jesus too. Yes, you do. Mariam Abdul Salam. God bless you. Mm. What a blessing of God. Amen. Isn't it a beautiful day? Yes. Praise God. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Mm. Indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Come also alive. You're welcome. You're if you're just joining us, thank you for joining us. Every Sunday from 12.30, we broadcast our teaching ministry where we teach the world. Hallelujah. Amen. How to live their lives in full enthusiasm. How to live their life outside religion, against religion, mm. king religion, destroying religion. Be angry at religion. Praise God. Amen. It's going to be a good one today. Are you ready? If you have your Bibles, get it out. Pen, paper, pencils, crayon, island, eyeshadow to write. <laughs> Not to... You know, your makeup, that's for later. Uh, but you don't have it, that's fine. You can just listen and later on study and read the word of God as contained in the Bible. Because remember, the Bible contains. Amen. I'm showing you this because I've, I've got the physical book. Praise God, you can have this. You can have a mobile phone. You can have a laptop. <laughs> you can have a computer. Whatever. The, the, the Bible, praise God, is not limited to a volume or is not limited to a Thing. Amen. Amen. The Bible contains the Word of God. Mm. It could be in scrolls, it could be in a mobile phone, it could be on the internet, it could be in a, on the computer and laptop, it could be somebody speaking outside of preaching. You could, when you listen to a message like this, listen to a message on TV, listen to a message in, in the building, in the church building, praise God. Wherever it is, that is the Word of God coming forth. Not the book. This doesn't. This this is not the word of God. Catholics, please, Amen. Amen. I can put this in the, on the floor. <laughs> and that's fine. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because praise God, I am more holy than this. Amen. You hear what I said? I'm going to say it again. I am more holy than the book. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the word of God is what's contained inside. When we read and study, we get. The word of God. The word of God is to be the message. What God wants us to know and how God wants us to live, so we can enjoy our lives. No religion. Religion says you have to go to church every every Sunday. You have to go to church every Friday. That's religion. Religion says you have to pray one, twelve, seven, twenty-five times a day. You have to face the south, to face the north. No, that's religion. God wants us to enjoy life. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Today is going to be a good day. I'm telling Amen. you. Tell our message this morning. The present. Is the future. That's what I message this morning. The present is the future. Amen. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. You cannot have a future without a present. It is impossible. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Let's look at something from the scriptures in, a, in, in the Bible. God's word. Praise God. Uh, uh, this is just um, beautiful. Amen. Okay. Um, I'll read from verse 15. Second Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 15. If you have Bibles, if you don't have Bibles, no, that's fine. Just listen. And later you can go back and read. Amen. You'll be blessed by the word of God anyway. So, hallelujah. Let, let me just say it again one more time. You, 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 you as a person, you are more holy than the book that we call the Bible. I know we, we say it's Holy Bible, you know, it's all the Holy Bible. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. Th- th- that's the problem with religion. Religion idolizes paraphernalia. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, the statue of the Virgin Mary, the statue of Jesus, out the cross, the Holy Rosary. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's religion. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's religion. Amen. Those are aid. Praise God. Hallelujah. To a clear conscience. Praise God. God is not like that. God is not like that. God is not about religion. God is not like that. Let's look up. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 15. And I read. And he died for all. Not for some. Yeah. He died for all. That those who live. Now let's stop there for a minute. When we read. We, 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 we are very fast to read. The Bible says he died for all. They now said, and 
those who live. You know, even though you die for some, there's some people who also want to die. You didn't get it. Let's read it again. It says here, and he died for all, that those who live. So, in other words, all are supposed to live. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> really carefully. Time change one again. Is the present is the future. Mm-hmm. We as a, I'm going to come back to this. We as Christians and most believers mm-hmm. and most churchgoers, they Christianize mm-hmm. their present mm-hmm. to become their future. Mm-hmm. They live in expectation of a future. Disregarding the present, so in Christianity, it's always oh, if God, if, if God wills in God's own time, it's always out there, it's always in the future that like you can't reach now, it's not dependent upon you. If it's dependent upon you, it will be present, it's dependent upon God to be the future, but it's not dependent upon God. Mm. The people want to believe that they depend on God, they want to believe that it's all in God's hands. Someone said, uh, um. Uh, on Facebook, praise God, we have shared forever, forever to, 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 to read. Yeah, he said, uh, if, 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 if God allows, it's, it's, it's if God allows, because I said that um, self confidence is believing in God that created you. If you don't have self confidence, then you're telling God that what God created is trash. Yeah, it's true. Then he said, oh, if God allows you to do anything, that self-confidence is not confidence in God. It's against God. And if you know me, then obviously I will teach. <laughs> so I've got, there's a teaching on there. Go, praise God, to Facebook. Hallelujah. And scroll down. Go to a page. No, go to Facebook. You have your timeline. Praise God. Don't go to the timeline. You're not going to say, go to our page and go to yesterday. Praise God. Which is Saturday at... 22.30 p.m. No, 22.30 or whatever. If you have your 24 o'clock on your phone, you say 22.30. If not, you say 10.30 p.m. So go there on our, on our timeline and then you see the discussion there. Oh, so teaching series, by the way. Praise God. And, you know, some of the replies one, I teach them 25. <laughs> as, I, as I always do. And he, he gave up. He couldn't say anything. I don't know. My point is, self-confidence, praise God, is being confident in the God who created you. If you are not confident, if you don't trust your phone, then you can't trust the maker of the phone. Of course. Simple as that. You're right. Amen. Amen. You cannot. Mm -mm. We as Christians, we always look about the future in God's own time. Them that wait upon the Lord. Them that do this upon the Lord. In the old covenant, they had to wait. Why? Because they had one person needs to go and hear from God. So the principle of waiting for God in the old covenant is not them waiting. When David wanted something, David went into the temple and spoke to God. When Moses wanted to hear from God, he went up the mountain to hear from God. He didn't have to wait. The waiting was the people who were waiting for Moses to go. Yeah. That's what the scripture came about. The them that wait upon the Lord. Mm. So it's not about waiting. Because now, like Moses and David, we can go to God and say, God, now, what is it? Wait. You're not waiting. Not waiting and then they, they now build a doctrine of scripture. Uh, uh, them that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They rise up with wings like eagles and, and blah, blah, blah. Yes, they will do. Because that's all covenant. The people who are not flowing with God, who are depending upon the superstar, Moses, the superstar, David, the superstar, Abraham, to get the message from God, to get the Ten Commandments from God, to get the direction from God, to ask for the get of the acquire of the Urim from God. Praise God, before they could go back when they were going to battle in the old term Israel, they have a Urim. Praise God. Which is like an effort, which is basically a chest that the people that the high priest wears and has all the twelve different stones. Praise God, the onyx, the 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 the, 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 the sapphire, um, the, 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 the 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 um Emerald, all the twelve stones, praise God there, praise God, and they go and they speak to God with that urine there, and they hear from God. The Bible says they hear from God, the priest, and then they tell the king what God wants, and the king does it. The people are waiting. Yeah. But today in God, we are not like the people. No. Come boldly. Mm. The Bible says in New Covenant, yeah. come boldly to the throne. Mm. We are too future minded. Mm. The present is the future. Now let's read here. Continue, let's continue here. It says, and he died 
for all that those who live. So therefore, even though he died for all, there are some people who won't live. Mm -hmm. They won't live like God died for them. Mm -hmm. People are living like God hasn't died for them. Their sins have to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. hmm. It says that those who live, so if you want to live, live like this. How? That those who live should no longer live for themselves, mm -hmm. but for him who died for them and was raised again. Amen. If you are living for God, it simply means you are living like the way he originally created you to live. If you want to know the way he originally created you to live, then go to the beginning. When God created Adam and Eve and God placed them in the garden of Eden. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. They were having a talk with God, they were having a discussion with God, they were enjoying all the things, all the, the blessings, everything that was in the garden was for them. They didn't struggle, they didn't know, they lived there and enjoyed themselves in the garden. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So they do not go live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Now look at verse 16. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regard Christ in this way, how did they regard Christ in this way? Listen, to the, listen. He mm. says, "Now we no longer regard anybody, or in other words, think of anybody from a worldly point of view. Although we thought of Christ that way, so how did they think of Christ that way? He says, in in this way, we do so no longer. He says, we do so no longer. Now, verse seven says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation." So the context is talking about something that was old. Yeah. And then now it's something that's new. How did they regard Christ in the old? How? Think about it. Think about it. Today the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah. Mm -hmm. The Messiah is going to come when? In the future. So the future is always the thing that hinders the present. Mm. Listen carefully. Your future is beautiful. Your future is blessed. Amen. But the reason why it is blessed is not because you are waiting for it. No, no it is because it is already done. Amen. So because something that's already done is actually Amen. is actually deemed as present. Mm. It's there. It's there. Mm. That's why the Bible says fate is this. Them that believe God must believe that He exists. You cannot believe God without believing faith that He is. Mm -hmm. And there's a rewarder. Yeah. You can't believe that God will bless you if you don't believe that He is there in the first place. Mm -hmm. So therefore, there's a present context mm -hmm. of the future that must prevail before the future can become a present. Mm -hmm. Amen. We always think the world, Christianity, religion, always thinks about the future. Put something to the future. They want to turn of Christ that way. That Christ is coming. They say, Messiah coming. That's what the prophets were saying. The prophets would say, oh, the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. The King of Glory is coming. That was prophecy. Yeah. That's what they believe. Mm -hmm. But here it says we no longer regard Christ that way. Why? Because the Bible says Christ has come. No, it's been, yeah. It said in verse 6, 15, you know, mm -hmm. that, and he died. So it has happened. Mm -hmm. That those who live should no longer live for themselves. So therefore, Christ is no longer for the future. Hallelujah. Amen. Heaven is no longer for the future. Amen. No. Mm. Don't let your lack of understanding. I said to the guy yesterday, I said to him, you are, you are ignorant. You know me. I can, I, I can say what I want to say. You are ignorant. <laughs> Go and study. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because my poor perish not from a lack of uh, prayer, not from a lack of being a Christian. <laughs> no. The people who believe God, but they are suffering like suffering. I mean, they are suffering. They can't even have enough F to put in their suffering. You spell it as S-U-F. I mean, they are suffering. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, come on. This is, you know, they are suffering. I mean, someone said, you, so, so, you can be so poor that you haven't got enough O's to put in the poor. You P-O-R, poor. Got a pole. 
<laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And the people go to church, they dance every Sunday. But they're struggling with life. So why? What's the point then? What is the point? Christ died for you. What is the point of the suffering? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Verse 17, all this is from God who reconciled the past, the, who reconciled us to himself through Christ. Everything God did, God has done. I'll say it again. I, I didn't mean it <laughs> to be. Um, uh, 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 yeah. Let me say it again. Pawn intended, as you say. Now, now, everything Christ, God did, God has done. Yeah. Because the future has not become the present. Our Christianity and our belief today shouldn't be. Everything for the future, the future. No, no, no. God, God has given you health, mm. not tomorrow. No, no. God has given you wealth, not next year. No, no. God has given you your blessing, that job, not in three years' time. Mm. He has already given it to you. Amen. The Bible says God says the end from the beginning. Mm. He is the beginning and the end. Remember, yes. God finishes before He starts. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Before God, before you became a living being in a body, the holy body, before you became a living being, because remember, Christ died. Mm. He died for you. But the Bible says that he rose again from the dead. The same spirit that raised Christ up, mm. not the spirit, because the Holy Spirit didn't die. Mm. Ah, not his soul. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Because that's, that, 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 that's constant as there with the spirit. So what did, what did the Holy Ghost raise? The body. <laughs> The same spirit of God that raised that body yeah. from the grave over 2,000 years ago. Christ, that holy body, Christ. Mm. Remember, the Bible says, for he knew no sin, and he became sin. So he took the sin upon his what? Mm. His spirit? No. God didn't take the sin upon his spirit, mm. upon his soul. No. God didn't take the spirit, the sickness, and the disease upon his soul. Mm. Upon his what? Body. Mm. If you want to know what the devil hates the most, Look at what he destroyed the most. Mm. It's your body. Mm. <laughs> the devil has no time. Praise God. Hallelujah. The devil has no time messing with your mind because you have to allow him. Mm. The devil has no time with your soul. It's too difficult. It's very hard. <laughs> Hallelujah. But your body. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's a physical thing that he can see. Mm. The devil is not omnipotent. God, God is omnipotent and omnipresent. God can see everything at the same time. The devil can't. Because it's limited. Mm. The Bible says the angels are limited. They're under the guidance and direction of God. Mm. Man, I've got to teach about angels one day. Praise God. Mm. I mean, if you understand my angels, you understand the devil. Mm. Do you know that? You see, people, people, are, people, people are scared of angels. Amen. Mm. People are scared of angels. People say, oh, if, if the image of angels is an angel with a sword, with wings, and they came and they stood in the garden. Remember what the Bible says? The, the, the God said, uh, sent the sentries and the guards of the angels to stand in front of Eden. <laughs> Plus, God of angels. Angels, <laughs> angels are strong, but they only do what you say. They are messengers. They are messengers. They only do what you say. Do you, you? Let's put it this way. You know a cat. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, continue. I'm finishing five, five minutes. A cat. Mm -hmm. You know that cat, we have a home. We have a home. We want to eat in Ghana. The cat, praise God. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a pet. It's, an, it's, a, it's a domesticated animal. It's a pet. You know, do hold them, they cuddle them, you know, praise God. A cat. Amen. Amen. A what? A cat. a cat. But a mouse cannot be where a cat is. Mm. But you can. 
Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. But you can. Mm. So it's the angels mm. are messengers. Mm. Angels do what they are instructed to do mm. by the body, by the family. The family is God's church. Mm. So you and God. Yeah. So you don't be scared of angels. Satan is just an angel, falling angel. He can do nothing. Mm. If you tell Satan to sit down, he will. Amen. Did you know that? Yes. If you tell him to sit down, he will. Mm. <laughs> I'll prove it to you. Even when Jesus said to um, the, uh, uh, Satan came to, said to Jesus, Jesus, if you say you're the son of God, yeah, you're hungry. Come on, command this mountain to be bread and eat of it because you're hungry. Mm. Jesus said no. Man shall not live by bread alone. Mm. What did the devil do? He left. he left. He didn't say, oh no, Jesus, still you're hungry. But you cannot point. Satan didn't challenge. Mm -mm. <laughs> he couldn't. Mm. Because Jesus told him where to go. Mm. When Satan said, Jesus, look like a high point of this cliff. Jump down. You're the son of God. Even the Bible says, Satan is quoting the Bible. To, to, to tell you that he knows mm. his role, he knows his limitations, he knows who he is. Mm. He called it out. He said, The angels will bear you up, lest you dash your feet against a stone. He just said, Yes, that's true. But the Bible also says, mm. See, the devil has no wisdom, mm. he's foolish. The angels have no wisdom, mm. <laughs> they're, they're not wise mm. because they do what God says them to do. Mm. So he says, No. Um, thou shalt tempt the Lord your God. And what happened? The devil left. Mm. The devil then challenged again. No. He didn't. So you saying, oh, people are poor, or if you are poor, or you don't, you're looking for a job, and said, the devil's hindering you. What? Tell the devil, devil, you shouldn't be hindering me, you can't, so stop now. And I'm going to get it because you can't stop it. If you say that, mm. so Jesus said it and the devil understood. You, 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 you need to know the devil. Know, know, know yeah. that who you are. Know, know him. As a, he's an angel, a falling angel. <laughs> he has the power. He's a tutor's dog. Praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm. has no power whatsoever. Hallelujah. The day has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and give us the ministry of reconciliation. I mean, that God was reconciled in verse 19, the word, to himself in Christ, not counting men's sins against them. Mm. And he has committed to us that ministry or the message of reconciliation. Verse 20, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal. A-P-P-E-L. God was making his appeal. What an appeal? An appeal is... God is utterly begging us. This is who you are supposed to be. Mm. He's begging us. He has reconciled us to Christ. Come on, sin can't stop it again. Amen. It's only you. So if someone says, oh, sin prevents our blessings from, from coming to us. No, you do. Mm. Sin doesn't. Mm. Amen. Amen. You do. Mm. Because if you Praise God, know the consequence of wrongdoing, the consequence of sin that can hinder your physical body, then you will walk rightly and then you will be blessed. Amen. Not sin. You. So you notice you are in ultimate what? Control. Well, let's stop focusing on the wrong things. And that is religion. Because religion focuses on the wrong things. Religion focuses on the future, neglecting the present. When you focus on the future, neglect the present, you ultimately enter the, the future. In a bad state. Mm -hmm. You ultimately enter the future ignorant. Mm -hmm. If you focus on the present, you enter the future healthy. Amen. You enter the future strong. Amen. You enter the future joyful. Amen. You enter the future blessed. Mm -hmm. But when you focus on the future, you enter the future sick. You enter the future diseased. You enter the future ignorant. Lack of knowledge. Lack of wisdom. Struggling. Mm -hmm. Poor. Poor. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. The present is the future. So let's stop looking into the future, preventing us from living and 
experiencing the blessings of the present. God loves you. God cares for you. I'm going to stop it today. Hallelujah. Hope you, I'm a prayer and believe you've been blessed by this message. Thank you for watching that and listening. This one is, this one on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you. God, uh, God bless you. Google Plus. Hallelujah. And later on, on uh, YouTube, Google Plus, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow us as you can if you want to. You can follow us. Praise God. Come to Soul Ministries. Come to Soul Life. Come to Elizabeth's Soul Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, do you want to know Jesus? Show you. Do. He's a father. He cares for you. Loves you. Wants you. Wants to enjoy you. Wants you to enjoy him. Why not talk to him today? Why not talk to Jesus? It's not religion. Religion kills. Religion destroys. Religion is confused. It's a confusion in itself. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Religion is about the future. But life with Jesus is about the present. Mm. It's about enjoying the present. Enjoy your present. Enjoy your now. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. The future. Focusing on the future gets, takes you, there, gets you there with sickness and disease and struggle. But the present, enjoy the present. And shows that you enter the future. Mm. Whole, blessed, and joyful. Amen. Will you pray with me? Amen. Come on, you want to know Jesus. Mm. Say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your word. Amen. I receive into my life yes. as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. If you pray, Amen. pray. The word of Abba is born again. Christian. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. What an honor. What a joy. God bless you. What a talk to God. It's called prayer. Fellowship with him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Fellowship with him in his word. Study his word contained in the Bible. Amen. It could be a physical book. It could be the Bible contained on a laptop, on an iPad, on a phone, on the you know, internet, wherever it is, that is the word of God. It doesn't have to be a, a particular medium. Because you are holy. Your yes. body is holy. You are the uh, temple of God. Yes, it's your body. Yes, Christ died. Let me just talk about it a little bit. Christ died. Mm. How? By being hung on the cross. He was nailed. He was whipped, striped. 39 stripes. He was stripped with carved claws at the end of the whips, leather whips. His body was mutilated for you. Mm. And then the Holy Spirit of the third day what raised him again from the dead. Mm. So that body became whole again. Amen. That's the power and that's the reality of how God takes your physical body. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, so if you took all the sickness out of your body, mm. all the disease out of your body, all the struggles out of your life, mm. Then you should live without it. Amen. That's how it ought to be. Yes. That's how it ought to be. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mm. Thanks for watching for listening. Hey, talk to God's God prayer. Fellowship in His Word. Hallelujah. We are the Bible. That's His Word content in the Bible. And fellowship with one or two or three thousand people every two days, every day, every five days, every week, every two weeks, wherever. As you can. Mm. This God church. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day, enjoy your Sunday, enjoy your week ahead. Praise God. We have eight days to our lovely family holiday. Our Woo! early summer holiday. Praise God. Amen. And we'll be seeing you obviously next Sunday again. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Have a wonderful week ahead. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah.